Yo, what's going on guys? This is Kakaiso, and today we are going over my UI for World of Warcraft, which is called Tuck UI. Now the first thing you guys want to do, well, I'm not even going to describe it, you know, it's, it's, we're just going to get right into it. I'll explain as I go along if I really feel like I have to, but, um, most of my explanation will be in-game. So pretty much what you guys want to do to get started is go to a website called tuckui.org. That link will be in the description below. Um, when you guys are here, you guys can pause the video if it really takes you that long. Um, FYI, I'd recommend using Firefox as you are probably, you know, you know, new. If you're new, use Firefox. If you're old, you're probably already using Firefox. But if you're already, if you're still using Internet Explorer, it's time you move on. I'm sorry to say that, but yeah. Anyways, we get to you can do all this other stuff, connect with whatever shit you want to connect with. But the main part is you want to go over this little icon over here and click download. Which will bring you to a new page. And you got a little subcategory called download packages where you can see how many view how many downloads, sorry. How many downloads each package has. Um, this is the newest one uplo uploaded one day ago. So that is probably the best one to get as it, you know, minor fixes have been uh, reported. So download that one we're gonna save file now to open up this file um, you either have to have the win zip which is really lame or you can have the cooler version which is the win rar uh, which is a freeware program freeware shareware whatever you want to fucking call it uh, program uh, software sorry that will unzip a whole variety of uh, supported types of file formats so Recommended to get that one. Link for it will be in the description below as well if you don't already have it. So, yeah. Moving on, once you got that downloaded, open it up in whatever you have. As you can see, there are four folders. That's all you really need. That's all it is, is four folders, guys. Trust me. It's not some whole, whole list of shit. It's just four folders. And, th and actually, these four folders, without any other add-ons, is find themselves trust me if you're not a guy who likes recount if you're not a guy who likes deadly boss mods or routes or gather mate all those other add-ons these four folders will get you far really far so what you got to do is you got to uh, extract these four folders to your interface add-ons folder now if you guys don't know where that is it's usually in Windows 7 mine got installed in my public folder under games how the fuck it got there I have no idea but it's okay whatever somewhere easy you know gets used to after the time so um, I'm trying to say yeah if you guys already have add-ons in your add-ons folder be sure to create a backup like I did over here of your add-ons and WTF folders because your add-ons will hold your add-ons and your WTF folder will hold your settings for those add-ons and you really don't want to lose your settings for their add-ons because probably a lot of time you put into it um, especially with arc inventory and you know I don't know routes and gather mate and it's just a hassle to go through all those settings again so be sure to create a backup of them so I'm gonna install mine extract it all into there done boom you guys are done it's pretty much it I can end the video right now but I'm not going to cuz I'm not I'm not that mean of a guy so <laughs> Open up World of Warcraft. Yo, what's going on, guys? So here I have. I've skipped ahead a little bit, um, just because Camtasia doesn't really have a great, great World of Warcraft recording kind of settings. So I'm um, skipped right into the Frab slash Audacity kind of setup. So here we are, uh, logging in for the first time after the WTF. You will go through the Deathwing cinematic, obviously in the license agreement. So be sure to skim through that and. Uh, Let's move on. So as you can see, click on the add-ons. We have Tuck UI Config, Tuck UI Raid for healers, Tuck UI Raid, and Tuck UI. Four add-ons you should only have, and that's it. We're going to move right into uh, setting this bitch up. So um, usually it does take a while for it to load up for the first time, but this just skimmed right through. This was just a breeze. So awesome. Um so as you see, right when you log in, you got two frames popping up. You got your welcome screen, and you got the layout screen, pretty much. It's asking you what layout you want. So on the welcome screen, don't welcome screen, screen, uh, don't even worry about it. Just hit, click install, continue, 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 finish. So pretty much what that does is it configures, formats the, the UI, uh, your chat, your chat frames, your raid frames, your raid layout, everything to your monitor size. Um, because this add-on is a universal add-on, so meaning that it can be used on any monitor, any screen size, which makes it awesome. 
uh, it has to go through that kind of setup just to make sure that it's properly formatted. Um, so yeah, pretty much saves you a lot of time going to different UI sites and finding a UI that's set to your resolution or else it looks like shit. So that's why I kind of like this UI. So also you got to go through the rates layout uh, setup. If, if you're a DPS slash tank, you click that. If you're heals, you click heals. I'm a healer, double resto, so I'm going to go heals. Oops. That's pretty much it. Now, if you guys want to play a game like this, go ahead. And, you know, stop watching the video now and go ahead. But I'm going to show you some other configuration tips you guys can head go through uh, to make your experience a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, and uh, show you guys some of the stuff that I never got taught when I first got this UI. So, starting off, uh, I'm going to go slash tuck UI. This is the configuration command. All your different settings and stuff will be in this area. Uh, first thing I like to do is go to the social, enable the chat panel background, because you can't see much, uh, you can't see the, your filters, I mean, you can leave like that if you like, but, you know, whatever, right? Um, also, there's an auto-invite, if you don't like uh, being automatically invited, now it's only from friends and guildmates, so don't worry if it's, it's not from random people that it gets automatically, automatically accepts it, but if it is from friends and guildmates, it will automatically accept the invite. So you can disable that if you'd like or not. On unit frames, I like to have show yourself in party checked off and and enable portraits on player and target. Uh, like the X Pearl kind of format. Also back in general, um, take off the reskin blizzard frames to match Tuck UI. Pretty much what that does right now is it makes it reskins the blizzard frames to match the tuck UI, which is pretty much what it says. <laughs> um, but I don't like that. I like the blizzard stuff. If you don't like it, go ahead. I'm just telling you guys this from a personal experience and uh, from a guy who's been playing the game for about four years. So I'm kind of used to this kind of screen area format. Look, that's the word I'm looking for. This kind of look. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, so that's pretty much it, I think, for the configuration part. Now, back on into the moving stuff if you want to move stuff if you want to move your your frames if you want to move your shapeshift bar your mini map stuff like that go slash move UI that enables everything to be moved you can move your player you can move your target you can move your you know your target of target your pet um, so let's say I just wanted you know maybe these up a little bit higher and I could put you know my buffs under here which would look really really bad but hell you know I could do it put my buffs like that you know maybe move the uh, let's see move this down here target 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 up here uh, maybe if I have I don't have pets but I'll put it there anyways and you can scale these too like move that and you can scale them uh, which is very nice to have you can't move the, you can't scale the buffs which is kind of shitty, but oh well, what can you do? Uh, you move the quest. I like moving my quest over here just because it gets in the way a lot. Uh, move player debuffs. Let's move the debuffs down here too, underneath the target. Now you might think, oh, well, won't the uh, my debuffs interfere with the target debuffs? No, because the target debuffs go on top of their frame. And also, if you really want to, just leave a little space in between. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just fooling around your guys. I don't usually have it. Uh, usually your party and raid frames are over here, and your arena stuff is over here. If you have Gladius, which you should if you're PvP arena kind of guy or girl, um, it disables these, I'm pretty sure, because I don't see them when I have Gladius on. And I made a macro for the slash move UI command, so that's pretty much it. That's all you guys got to worry about. Move this over a bit, center it up. Alright, it's looking a little bit nicer. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to run through some stuff. So up here is your, your totem bar. On the top left is your totem bar, your shapeshift bar, your aura bar, anything about anything like that <laughs> is up on the top left. Uh, I move my quest thing over here. So, just out of the way. Uh, down here is your first chat frame. This is your three different categories you have your guild say and whisper category uh, next one is your combat log and the last one is your general slash trade category what it is 
uh, or not what it is. We already explained what it is. What I like about it is that it, it filters the general and trade from the guild, say, in Whisper, um, which allows you to, you know, if there's vital information that you need to hear from your raid or battleground, which is included in the guild, say, in Whisper, by the way, uh, it separates that from the, the trade and stuff. So, because you know how heavily spanned the trade in general can be sometimes with trolls. So, it's just nice to filter that out. On the bottom, it shows your guild, uh, who's online, how many are online, uh, what class they are, what level they are, and where they are. Shows your guild name, your guild message of the day, your guild level, and experience stats. Uh, moving over, we have uh, your durability damage, uh, and it puts them in order on each item, which is kind of cool. Moving over, you have your friends from battle.net, uh, who they are, what character they're on, and what game they're playing. And on the other side, this is your bars here, obviously. Um, you can you can move these in. You can compact it down to one bar if you like. Lots of stuff you can do with these. Um, also, might as well explain this bar over here on the right. Uh, you can put it in or you can put it out. That's what she said. Uh, on the bottom right here, you have your second chat frame. You have, which is your loot. Everything about loot comes up here. If you gain money, comes up here. If you gain an item, comes up here. Need, greed, all of that appears here. Uh, on the bottom, you have your latency, your frames per second, shit like that. You have your memory usage moving over, and on the last one, you have some money thing. Shows your money, that's all I care about. I don't know what the session server character is. Whatever, fuck it. It's not, unless you're, I mean, I guess you could start sessions, see how much you've earned, see how much you spent in a session, whatever. If you're into that kind of shit, go for it. Uh, on the top right, you have your mini-map, obviously. Shows where you are, your coordinates, uh, shows your spell power for casters, shows your attack power for melee, uh, including tanks and healer, or, or including tanks and healers. Healer shows spell power, um, which I guess is vital. And it also shows your time. It shows your winter grasp if it's in progress. Shows your tollbrat if it's in progress. If not, it shows how you know how much time it's going to be until it starts, and it shows your local time. That's pretty much it, guys. Considering I move my debuffs and my buffs, uh, they're usually over here by your minimap but with that being said I think that pretty much wraps it up yeah pretty much wraps it up usually with when you're in a party you'll see uh, as a healer raid out healer raid out healer layout uh, you will see a grid uh, like like an actual grid grid the grid add-on is I think implemented into this UI and uh, you will see it here big squares and you can configure that in the slash tuck UI command where you will see uh, unit frames I'm pretty sure and you can scroll down and it shows the grid scale blah 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 so yeah um, that's that and uh, to switch between a heal and DPS spec you can go slash DPS to go to the DPS side, which is the exact same. The only thing that changes is your raid fra raid frames. Um, in DPS, there are little little small rectangles that go on the, the, along the edge here. And if you're if you want to go back slash heal, slash heal. That's all you got to do. Simple, simple stuff. So, I um, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got some information out of it, and hope you guys uh, like the uh, UI as much as I do. Uh, it's very awesome, very cool. It's badass. So if, uh, if you guys like this video, if you like me, uh, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter if you, f you know, feel like you got some balls of steel. Uh, make sure you comment on this video. You like it? Let me know what I could do to improve. Uh, if you guys want to see any more shit, let me know. I'm open for anything right now, guys. I'm kind of uh, not really in the zone lately. I'm kind of just working on my character, so. Let me know what you guys want to see. I want to see some activity. I want to see what you guys want to... Uh... It's not all about you. I will be posting up videos, but it's nice to hear a little bit from the community. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.